This episode of Quality and Training Purposes is brought to you by Pints with Aquinas. Hello, and thank you for calling Disney Plus Customer Service. For quality and training purposes, your call will be recorded. You're experiencing high... All right, thanks for your time calling Disney Plus. My name is Mark. How can I help you today? Hi, Mark. My name is James. Can I just check this call is being recorded for quality and training purposes? Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure, sure. Oh, great. I just had some questions and comments about the content that Disney is putting out there at the moment. Um, I love Disney as much as it is suitable for any grown man to love Disney. I've got kids and we've been we've been on the Disney Plus at the moment watching some of the old Disney stuff. Love it. We got I think we got Mary Poppins on there. We're loving Mary Poppins. We're loving those old cartoons. It's great. The real family values. You know the 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 fruit of Christendom. Beautiful narratives that tap into that uh, the most deep and profound parts of ourselves. But I'm finding that some of the newer Disney content, you know, the woke stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like the like the, the new content sort of that is being added on Disney Plus, is that what you mean? Yeah, like all the sequels sort of and the and the new titles that Disney is churning out really have very little in common in a spiritual point of view to the original stuff that Disney was putting out, which was all about, you know, like family and adventure and self-sacrifice and finding a greater truth. The things that through, you know, our Judeo-Christian heritage have come down to us as um, the fundamentals of narrative, you know. But now it's all just like be who you want to be, uh, self-expression. I think Frozen was a big departure point where it was just manifesting the self and the divine feminine and snow paganism. So who can I talk to about this this decision to editorially pivot Disney from a good Christian company to whatever sort of woke Satanism we're dealing with at the moment? Hello? Hello. Yep. Hello, sir. Hey, sorry, Matt, your no, line is breaking. Oh, oh, sorry. All good. All good. Hello. You're back now. You're back now. Yep. Uh, one second, sir. Let me fix my microphone. One second. Is there a dog in the background? <laughs> That's cool. I love it when people are allowed to bring their dogs to work. I was in an office once, and a man brought his little dog, and it was like the office mascot, and they're all scratching the dog's belly. <laughs> <laughs> Got you. Well, thank you for patiently waiting. So I just did try to fix my life. Yeah, no, you did mention, sir, that you're trying to look for someone that you can speak to regarding to this concern. I'll be honest with you, sir. What we normally do for this type of concern is we just notate here, uh, and then we will be passing this alone to our next level of support. Uh, so that way, sir, they can identify what needs to be done with that. Uh, um, and also, I don't have any information, sir, with those content that is actually being added by Disney Plus, of course. Um, it is just only informed to us before it will be added to the um, uh, Disney Plus itself. So that's why, I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if you know or Oh, if you're so this aware is just Disney about. Plus, so I have to get through to Disney, 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 not just like the platform that it's on, but the people making the decisions at Disney. Oh, well, exactly. That's correct, sir. Because actually... If you are not really fan of those contents that is being added from the or by Disney Plus, yep. you can always filter the mature ratings of that. That way, sir, oh, we can remove. Well, those. this is that's the hardest thing, you know, because it's actually it's the stuff aimed at children that I'm finding to be the most pernicious. Uh, it's not the it's not the sex and violence that I object to. I love sex and violence, as long as the sex and violence is oriented in a story that is uh, meaningful and true. Mm -hmm. But when the sex and you know, when whatever it is, when it's even not sexual and not violent, but it's uh, like propaganda for this whatever, like globalist, um, pagan, atheist, Satan agenda, that is what I have mm -hmm. a problem with. And that can be done without any violence at all. That can just be a, a nice uh, person with a asymmetrical haircut explaining their worldview, you know. 
well, that is actually noted, sir, and I do understand, sir, about these concerns that you have. By the way, sir, for us to somehow notate the conversation you had with me, do you have a Disney Plus account, sir? May we know your email address? Tell my wife's one. Uh, but it seems like that Disney Plus probably can't do a terrific amount. But um, my name is James McCann, and uh, maybe you can attach it to, to the name. But I'll, I'm going to try and contact Disney. Uh, the head office of Disney. Thank you for calling the programming feedback department for ABC, ABC News, Freeform, FX, Nat Geo TV, and Disney Now. Man, they own a lot. For information about privacy control and choices, and to read our privacy notices, please visit DisneyPrivacyCenter.com. Although we are unable to speak with you directly, we value your opinion Excuse and encourage me? you to leave your comments. We are unable to return your call, but we will pass your message on to our network executives. After the tone, please clearly state the show you wish to give feedback for and leave a 30-second message. Thank you. It's more general. It's all the Disney programming. Um, It's departed from good old-fashioned Christian values and moved on to some woke silliness. And I'd like that to be remedied just so that it's a more engaging story. Because at the moment, it just sort of all seems like propaganda to me. I'm, I'm trying to go as quickly as possible. My name's James Donald Forbes McCann. I'd love to speak to you more about this if you can get back to me. I'm on Instagram. But just as a sheer storytelling narrative, what is going on at Disney at the moment doesn't work. Even if you're not interested in um, any sort of spiritual dimension, just in terms of an engaging narrative, you don't have it at the moment. It's not there. People are tuning out. Do you know what I'm saying? I tried watching those latest Star Wars movies. And the first ones, you could not hardly classify that as anything other than... Uh, I mean, it's a Jungian, deep narrative about the subconscious and great... The wizard and the boy and the force. And what is it now, the Star Wars? You're a woman in a man's world. And you've... It's just so... Ugh, you know? Ugh. All right, have a good one.